Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I am the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. Look at that. I got us trimmed up a little bit. We're going to grow our mustache back. We should look more like ourselves now. I've given myself a haircut. We made a pair of scissors and, and did that. and It just uh, it feels it feels better. It feels better. It's going to come in real nice. You watch and see. Real nice. We have a new friend. Mm-hmm. She was on here when I got on here. Level 36 female elephant. Uh, she's a 54. Stamina, 594, which is amazing. Her weight, just a little bit more than uh, buddies over there. Health and melee damage. I think what I want to probably give her is... It's only going to go up by 0.6, huh? Wow. Um, let's give her some health. If we can, maybe we'll get her up over 800 health. That would be pretty cool. But she is a big girl. Oh my gosh, she's just fantastic. So, round camp, what have I done? Um, added some torches on some hooks. They work great. I love it. I just love how th these work, okay? Uh, I could actually turn that off right now. There we go. Boom. Because you got to refuel these if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, these torches burn out after a while, so you have to fix them. got to repair them. Uh, over here, we took out, I took out the campfire, put in a cooking pot, so we've got a few recipes that we can make, but we need the maize or the wheat, so we're going to have to find that first, and then we can get to, get to some of the food items or some actual... Like recipes are calling for carrots and specific uh, recipes, specific foods that we need to find. Uh, horse, which you guys sent in a whole bunch of names for. Thank you very much for doing that. We will name her uh, in this episode. Uh, I put the cart on her, which I've never done before, and it's really kind of cool. Uh, you can't see us very well, though. Like, uh, you could with uh, Bluto, and Bluto pulled the cart so much. Um, but uh, it's pretty cool to have her pulling the cart, that's for sure. And then Buddy's over here. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I'm adding... Right now what I'm doing... Oh, I've added a chest here so that we can have stone and flint and things like that thrown in there. I've got another chest right over here. Uh, it's empty right now, but I figured we could throw some stuff in there as well and just start to store things up. I've grabbed up some salt and things like that. I've also been working on the ship. So we have this side all done, and that side still needs... I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six... Six or seven panels more on that side to finish it up. And then I'm going to need, you know, that's what, four across for the deck or three across for the deck? Three across, it looks like. So, three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah. So, a bunch of those as well. Thirty of those at least I'll get. And then uh, some stairs. And we've got the wheel already. And then we've got the sails to make too. The biggest chore I've noticed on this island is getting the resources pretty much. The trees Although they're magnificent, there aren't many of them. So you're really having to scrape off the ground. So I don't know this is such a good island to be starting out at. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I think it's beautiful. But the metal is all in the stone, and then there's a lack of wood, I would say. Uh, fiber seems to come back pretty quick. Like these bushes right here, I just ran through here. So things are coming back again already. These trees weren't here when I came through the first time. It was just the, uh, the fruit trees and stuff along here. Uh, when I took these guys through, because we kind of do a loop, we go all, all the way around this rock, and then come back over this side. We just kind of loop it like that. Well, we haven't had this big gal yet. No, sir, we have not. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Come back. We're going to name the horse, okay? We're going to name our horse and find out, you know, exactly uh, what she's going to be called. Who, uh, Whose name got the most votes? Well, we'll look at that. I'm going to look at that first, okay? And then we'll see, and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there. I'll be back. Welcome back. There she is. She's pretty, isn't she? She is. She's a very pretty horse. Oh, no, 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 no! You know what? Just... <laughs> this, you know what? I rarely ever... Well, I shouldn't say that. I did that on our group server in ARK, and boy, that was a mess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. I, I, I do push J every now and again. It does happen. It does happen. Okay, so the names. All the runners-up are as follows. Duchess, Bonnie, Lily, Blaze, Black Beauty, Zorb, Ginger Snap, and Pal, like Palomino. The top three, well, the top two was Ecuador, which I really like, and then there's Naysayer, and then Starbuck was another one that I really liked as well. Yes, I did. Uh, that's right, horse. <laughs> you think I'd never played before. No, I don't think it's... There, it's... Options? Change name? E. Ecuador. I like that. Elam Garrick sent that one in. Ecuador. Had three votes. I love it. 
Yeah, it's a very good name for a female horse, I think. Uh, for the fact that we are near the equator. Well, we're in the equator. We're in the equator. So Ecuador was the name choice for her. Let's take a look and see what she looks like as we're riding around. Uh, you see like what I mean? You can't really see her too well as you move about. But she does a great job of getting around. She surely does. There you go. See? Not nice. I love that. It looks really good. I love the way the cart looks uh, being pulled behind her. Uh, the elephant's, of course, invaluable. What's taking me a long time to get is the thatch and the fiber. Uh, metal's not so bad. Metal's not so bad. Uh, I need to go get jump in the water. Can I pick that? No. Cannot pick that. There we go. You know, I am not having... They must have done some major changes on this, I think, when it comes to some of these things. Set my coffee. The taming has improved dramatically. The animals don't fall down the corners. They don't, you know, slam their heads all over the place. They just don't do that anymore. Um, matter of fact, I don't even think she even really attacked me too much. Uh, inside the pen when I got close to it. She didn't seem to be bothered by me at all. Come on, Ecuador. Now I need a name for this big old elephant here. She is amazing. Look at her go. Buddy has very little stamina. He burns out really fast. So I'm kind of curious to see just how well she does out here because she's she's got a lot more back in her. But I'm gonna need, I need to get wood, thatch, and fiber, and metal, and that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I'm not going to fight the alpha because, well, I could just take the horse and put it on uh, peaceful mode, right? No, 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 no. Always neutral. Neutral. Never passive. No, no, no. Poor Bluto. We, we learned that one the hard way. But anyways, I'm having to do this to get the uh, fiber. Granted, if you're doing this with your hand, holy crow, get yourself the, uh, the sickle for sure. Because you need it. You got to have it. You got to have it. Uh, so, basically, I'm getting the cart filled up with wood and thatch and fiber, and then uh, I fill, I'll fill the elephant up one more time, and then we'll take him back, and I'll unload that, and then I come back out, and I get a load of metal and bring that back. Right now, my pickaxe is in horrible shape. I don't know why I came out here without it getting fixed. i got to go back to the house and do that. Uh, that's okay. We could do that. Let's go. Let's go. I've not picked up any of these coal nodes yet or anything like that. I'm kind of focused right now on getting the uh, the schooner ready. And the, the, the sails, I think it's like a little over a thousand um, fiber each. So I think we can have two, right? We can have two. So we've got to make two uh, large speed sails. Uh, you can stay there and you're not following anybody. So I just need to go in and fix my tools real quick. Let's go T. And right click. Oh, what am I missing? Fiber. Oh, no, I'm not. Right here. Repair. And then we've got structures, ships, medium, planks. I can make one more of those right now, so I'm going to do that too. I'm going to grab that back. There we go. Can I make the climbing pick yet? I can. Let's make one of those. So we have it. Um, I have a feeling that maybe some of these locations... Uh, I don't know if I can actually get up that high. It's, it's, it's pretty way... It's a, quite a ways up there. You know? Um, some of these areas look really high, but I think maybe you could step yourself up. I think one of you mentioned in the comments that there is a way to get up in there. It's Friday episode. Hope you're happy about that. I am. I'm really looking forward to getting the schooner kind of put together. I feel like we've kind of combed the island a little bit. We do still need to go up on some of these ledges. I could probably get up on that ledge right there, I bet. That one. And then maybe even make it to the next one up then after that and see just what's up there. Is Maybe there, maybe there is crystal and stuff up there. Um... Come on. Come on, sweet thing. Uh, wood, though, is always um, 
pick now. The trees and all that stuff, it's the pick. If I'm knocking it down, it's the pick so I can get the, the, the thatch. Because uh, the, the, the ship planks are relatively expensive. They are. Uh, we do have a map or two for this area. Uh, the D, the uh, M8, right? We're in M8. We have some maps for it. I think what I want to do is get this schooner put together. We can run out and uh, hit one of those things up for uh, the damned and get a treasure or two. And if we can do that, we'll have enough money to immediately go right up to a free port, get the crew, get them on the ship, uh, get a few extras, and then go back to exploring some of the islands. The other islands that are down here in M8, and you guys uh, want to mention O11 is really nice too. A lot of a lot of great spots over on this side, and uh, we can, we can work it out that way, and then find a place where we're going to call home and really kind of settle in and get something going, get something going on. <laughs> but yeah, that's what that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm that's what I'm feeling. Now, am I moving any faster than I did last season? I don't know. I, again, this game is all about me being able to just be in here. It's just really nice. Do I have both? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ecuador's back there. I, I, I do. I like that. Starbuck, Naysayer, both, oh, both of those caught me as well. Most definitely. Naysayer was, uh, was interesting. And Starbuck had a good, you know, the horse bucks. And it kind of looks like a frothy Starbucks copy. So, Starbuck. And I thought, you know, that's that is a good name for a female horse too. She's really, she's actually quite pretty. I don't think we really got a good look at her in the light yesterday at all. Well, last episode, I should say. Hey, if you watched the Conan series, I'm really sorry about that first five minutes of the video. I don't know what is going on when it comes to uh, recording. I don't know if it's OBS or if it's my Cyberlink Power Director editing stuff, but it is just something is messing me up. And it's making the videos do weird things, especially Conan. For some reason, Conan just does not get along, seems like, with OBS very well. Look at that turtle. Been laying in the muck. Uh, so anyways, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on so I can get it fixed and, and not have it happen anymore. Uh, I'm going to keep grabbing this stuff up because, of course, I've got to so we can proceed forward with our schooner. And I'll be back. The other thing I kind of noticed is it seems like um, the effects of the weather have been dummied down a little bit, too. Um, and maybe even the vitamin effect is a little more generous. I don't know. It, it um, I'm, I'm having a, a pretty good time with all of it. It's not, um, it's not bothering me. It's really, you know, we've had a couple of heat events here. We will, we do have those. Um, but so far it hasn't been anything that I can't just jump into the water and, uh, hang out for just a shorter period of time and then get back out and I'm okay so I feel like that's changed a little bit too like they they're trying to balance some of those things you know so nothing feels like it's too much of a grind I mean eating is still important of course but maybe it's not quite as extreme as before right now I'm finding it pretty easy to let my stomach run down and uh, eat four meat four fish uh, a couple of uh, vegetable things and then I eat uh, like 12 berries and it fills me right back up and my guy's got the vitamin buff for like a, a most of the time that I play. I may have to go eat again because I'm doing a lot of the, uh, the sickle work right now and when you're swinging stuff and, and running between things that your stamina just goes down. Unfortunately um, the elephants do not get fiber so there's that. So you're on your own for that one. Oh and it just broke. All right, guys, come on back. Hopefully they don't walk right into that cage trying to turn around. Nah, she's very smart. Look at her. Uh, the other thing I'd like to do today is uh, I've got some fiber right now, so let's get these guys back over here first. Uh, and you're kind of in the way, buddy. Sorry. Beep, beep, beep. We move buddy back. I kind of moved everybody around. Then, they, of course, I hit Jay, and now they're all over the place again. <laughs> Come here, you. 
Come here, you beautiful thing, you. You sexy thing, you sexy thing, you. All right, there we go. And Y. There we go. And a Y. There we go. Perfect. Bump, bump, and a bump. What do you have on you? You've got some wood. All right, let's grab that and that. And some veggies as well. Uh, I'm a bit encumbered, I know. I know. Uh, let's make sure we fix our uh, sickle first thing. Fortunately, we don't have to walk too close to the bench to get to it. Uh, T. Bring it down. Those of you who knew the channel, welcome to the channel. Um, I know there's sorting items up here. I just don't care for any of them what they do. I don't feel like any of them sort them in a way I like it. I just know that what I craft is at the bottom of the screen, so that's where I go for it all the time. Uh, and then all of this food. We're going to leave those berries on her. And you guys go in here. No, you don't. You don't go in there at all. Because you are food, not maps. Yeah, I'll go through those maps and we'll take a couple, one or two with us and figure out exactly where we're supposed to go to find the treasure. I don't believe it's on this island here. I've put a couple of points into that as well. Um, you've got some stuff on you too. There's a little bit of fiber. Can I carry all this stuff? Uh-oh. We're getting really hot. We're taking a little bit of damage. I'm going to put this metal on you. I can't. I can't. I got to keep going. I might, I've got to go get wet. As he as he says, the, the heat's not that big of a problem. <laughs> oh, it's not. No, I'm fine. Oh, no, I'm not. Hmm. Oh. I'm just watching the little guy down there at the bottom right-hand side of the screen to see if he disappears. If I come back over here, how does it look? No, it's it's still... It's a hot one here in the, at the equator. <laughs> and it, I get next to the water and it seems to disappear. Did you notice that? Yeah, I still have the heat thing, but I don't have... Uh, oh, God. That scared the crap out of me. Good for nothing, Ray. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I kill you. So, there we go. All right. Let's... Uh, anything else we need out of here? Oh my gosh, it, uh, it kind of scared me a little bit. Uh, okay. And you're, you've got metal on you, right? That's what you've got. You've got that metal. Okay. Now, let's see how many panels we can make. Dun, 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 dun. Structures, ship construction, medium, plank. Oh my gosh, we can make six. We might be done with this. With that, anyways. Let's go see if we got enough to uh, finish off the ship. Oh. Please not want not. Give me them eggs, ladies. Thank you very much. You guys are doing a great job. Look at that. Nine eggs right there. Wonderful chickens. I love chickens, by the way. I do. Chickens are one of my favorite animals. They have got such great personalities. We used to raise them when I was a kid on a small farm. And uh, they were just amazing. Just watching them move around. A whole baby. Look at there. Let's, let's check the bottom half. It'd be just like me to launch a ship with missing a, a, a lower panel. <laughs> uh, nope. Looks like we're good here. Very nice. Very nice. I think we're good. I think we got it. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. And we've got two left. So we'll keep those on the ship as extras in case for some reason we need to replace the panel. We'll be able to do that. Now comes the task of getting the flooring. We're going to flatten this out and get some flooring in here. And then we've got to be able to access the lower area as well. And we need the sails. So I'm going to put the floor in first, then the sails, and then we'll get... Um, what are you doing, piggy? Then we'll get the, uh, whatchamacallit, taken care of. Uh, kind of the decorative stuff, the chests and things of that nature that go on the ship. We'll get those taken care of last. We need to get the sails placed first, so after the floor so we know where we can and can't go with a, a, a ladder and stuff down below deck so um can we make a bunch of wood floors let's see how many can we make probably not too many i wouldn't think there's the fiber yeah the fiber is is the beast the fiber is the beast wood but the thing is and use the wood ones i can go out and uh make these right on the animals while we're walking around so that should be okay 
Yeah, see, that's going to work out just fine. So I'll leave this stuff in here. And... Yeah, let's just drop those in there as well. Okay. Let's put a few of these on. I want to open that that way so it's not in my way. Yeah, the heat... The, the hot is over already. And remember the first season, guys? We were on a tropical island and it was just unbearable. It was brutal. I think they've worked on it and I think it's gotten better. we go. Beautiful. There we go. We got to start. We're on our way, ladies and gentlemen. We are on our way to having our ship that we can go off on. I think what I want to do... <coughs> excuse me. I still, I'm still getting over my cold. It's almost... I don't know if it's almost there. I'm hoping by the end of the weekend it's over. I've had about enough of it myself. Um, I feel like... What was I going to say? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to say. I need to go get wood, thatch, and fiber, and more of it, and lots more of it. we got a whole bunch of fiber that's popped up over here again, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Matter of fact, I think I might just take Ecuador. If all I'm going to do is get fiber, I've not run into any kind of um, vicious creature here in this area. So I think I can have her follow me. Let's give you... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put points into her health. She's just a little horse. If we find a bigger horse, we'll get one. And if we have to, we'll let this one go and we'll swap the name out for uh, a different horse. But I like Ecuador, so that's going to be our, our female horse name. Uh, even if we... Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll get another one and we'll... Uh, last season, it was mentioned and suggested that we keep... We get low-level horses and attach them to those carriages that you can ride. You know, you can uh, carry crew members in or, or your friends in in multiplayer. Uh, that's pretty cool. And we could have them kind of on display with the carriage because right now you can't just set the carriage down. It's it's got to go you know away. Uh, but uh, if you got the horse attached to it and it's a low level horse, so if something bad did happen, it wouldn't be you know the end of the world. Uh, yeah, then you could display those carriages, which is pretty cool. You could display these carts too inside a little town. You know, I have a couple of carts parked. That'd be just that that would look cool. We got ourselves a alpha boar over here. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna get a bunch of this. I'm gonna make some uh, some floors. <laughs> nice. We gotta get ourselves dyed up too. Mm-hmm. Dolled up and dyed up. I want to actually get some gold just so we can go get some kind of a skin for these raggy looking clothes we're wearing. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're perfect pirate clothes, but uh, we did find a really neat skin. Uh, remember at the uh, the trader last time at the freeport? It was pretty cool. I liked it, so I want to do that again. There we go. I ran out of wood uh, making the last of those uh, platforms, or the, the planks, I should say, for the ship. So I'm just out real quick with the elephants gathering up some more wood because it's uh, what we need. It gets the job done. Uh, again, I can't go all the way up front like that, huh? I'm getting really hot. Uh, and then this one here. What I'm trying to do is make sure I've got room for her. That should be enough room. Boosh. No longer overheating. We're fine. We're fine. I've been trying to wait for the vitamin buff to go off so I can see if I've if my my uh, fortitude goes down. But so far, nothing's happened. And I'm going to have to eat again soon, too. Because you can see the food's getting low. So anyways. Uh, oh, my gosh. We need to get this elephant out of here. Come on now. Pretty soon you'll be able to walk again. There you go. Out you go. There we go. Let's put, let's put her. Let's let's caddy corner her a little bit. All right. So 
I can't put a third one of those on there. I know that. I'm pretty sure I can't put a third one on here. But we should have enough room for her to be right in here. We know we could transport her because we transported her with the uh, Forsaken in the last uh, season. So we know we can do that. Um, what I do need to get down is the wheel, too. The wheelhouse needs to go in here as well. Uh, that's going to be back here in the building. We'll see if we can get our vitamin buff to go away, but I don't know. It's, it's, it, it's pretty persistent, which is fine by me. Uh, and then we've got, okay, we've got the ramps and everything else. Okay, good deal. Good deal. We'll put a larder on here. We'll get all the necessities that we need on here, and we'll be able to uh, head out. This first ship is always about exploration and gathering the early resources in the game. Always. All right, so we're back there. We're doing good with that. Uh, where am I going to go on below deck? How about right in front of... So that's going to be... Wood square ceiling. Now, this is the back corner here. I don't want to be back in the corner because the boat's got the ship's got that curve right there. So that's going to be a problem for me. What if we do something? Right here instead. We'll do. something like that right there I believe we still have room in here up front here for the elephant to stand so if that's gonna be like that then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like so let's put this up here we'll get fancier with the next ship You know, part of me thinks I could probably do better if I have the stairs coming up towards the sail. I'm going to do that. Wood stairs. Lose those. It's okay. I've got, um, I've got more already there can I make one there we go let's do that right there perfect and then we're gonna need oh we're, we're out okay uh, number seven number seven yeah it's gonna be a little tight but that's okay that's okay stairs down there we go uh, R we're in underneath okay below deck you gotta stay small, I think, on the schooner. I like to stay small on the schooner. Let's put it that way. I like to be I like to keep it small on the schooner. When we get to the location where we're gonna build, that's what I'm kinda eager to find while we're doing this exploration. Uh, I want to start with the dock. So we're gonna have this structure here, of course, but for the brigantine, and then we're going to kind of build off of that, and that's gonna be the start of our uh, our base, basically. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a little bit of wood, a little bit of thatch, a little bit of fiber. A little bit of wood, a little bit of fiber, a little bit of thatch. All right, there we go. So let's do that. That's going to just be helpful to have that in our inventory. It's not weighting us down, so we can at least make stuff on the fly if we need to. And on the back here, I'm thinking about doing the ramp, like so. Well, that has a different look to it. Look at that. Wood ramp. Is that, that has a different look, doesn't it? It's like all washed out and stuff. Like it's whitewashed. That looks weird. That's a bit strange for me. I wasn't expecting to see that. Let's put a door on here too. There we go. Beautiful. We don't need portholes in there. We'll just have a little cover over the entrance. That way we don't, you know, we've got a little, little sanctuary inside there. Uh, I don't know why I ran all the way over here. All I need to do is make a door. 
Wood door. Okay, you know what? It's good that we came over here because it just made me think I probably should get some ladders if I can make ladders. What do I need? I'm missing thatch in here. Let's make four ladders. Got to tickle my throat. Hold on. Lovely. Okay, beautiful. And let's grab that thatch back. I also want to make uh, a table. A storage box. Let's make a one large one. And then I'm missing wood. Okay, let's do this over here. We'll make two of these. One of the big ones. And then what we also need, uh, since we've got our sails in place, we are going to need the larder. What am I missing? Thatch. Oop. There we go. There we go. Pushing all the wrong buttons. Beautiful. Oh, can we make the... I bet we can make the resource chest, too. We're going to need that on there. I would like to have a lot of the weight on here already to see. And then there's one other thing I really want to check on real fast, and that is structures, ship add-ons. Dinghy ship hanger. Oh, give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. I've leveled again. It's a good day to be me. Now, ship add-ons. Dinghy ship hanger. Diving attachment. That's what I want. I think we'll see. We'll see. But I think this might be the way to go to uh, get some of our early initial gold between Flotsam. We could probably go down and dive to a ship and grab some stuff. We'll see. It might be too cold, but if we find something that's uh, a, a relatively easy level, maybe it'll work out. I don't even know if I could put this on the schooner. We're soon going to find out. I hope so. Okay, we can. Fantastic. Okay, it looks like you can only go one spot right there, huh? That's it. Hmm. I'm gonna do it on that side. I'm actually gonna take this out. And I'm gonna go with Ah, oh, really shouldn't have done that. I was gonna go ahead and do uh, the opening doors here, but it's I forget there's a staircase here, so that's not gonna work. I'm gonna put that back. Number seven, resource chest. We definitely wanna have this. Uh, set up here. Well, let's put it right back in here. Like so. Number eight. I'm going to put you back in here as well. There we go. So now our, our crew members can eat off the larder. They, they'll they be able to pay themselves out of the uh, resource chest. And we can fill that with wood thatch fiber and some metal. And we can have that for when we make repairs to the ship when we're out and about. The crew is uh, working for us and doing that. Inventory level. Um, to 142, huh? I'm going to take that. I'm going to try to get that up to about 150, I think. So if we're going to be diving, we're going to have to be... Advanced oxygen, advanced water temperature. That should keep us, I hope, from getting uh, cold. That's what I was thinking. If we if we do the if we do a, a treasure ship, a sunken ship or two, that might not be a bad idea. Amount of food consumed by crew members. Handle the sails on a ship. Reduces the rate at which ships sink. Cheaper crew. There we go. Talented crew. To work their hardest, offering greatly reduced stamina consumption, increased reload speeds for all crew on board. Must be used while on the captain's wheel. Okay. 
I would like them to be fast on the sales. I think that would be uh, pretty wise. So we're going to do that right there. When we get our... Um, let's do that too. When we first land to the place we're going to call home, we'll get that dock put in. We'll get the brigantine. We're going to take the brigantine and we're going to turn the brigantine into a battleship. Promise. Eight skill points, huh? Well, we were just in here. I think we did all right there. What have we got in piracy that I could do to, to help us out here a little bit, too? Shoveling on open ground. Quantity of resources returned when demolishing, salvaging shipwrecks. I should not have done that because we're not... I guess we can, if we sink the pirate ships when they get those fixed, then you can har harvest those. Treasure beacons can be seen. Let's do the eagle eye. Let's do that right there. All right, beautiful. All right, what am I looking for here now? Uh, I, I screwed that up. We have the dive platform, so we're going to put oil in that because that's what that runs on. So we're definitely going to want that. Uh, all of our stuff is in here. We need uh, you... And we're going to drop that stuff in there. I've got a table to put up. We've got some ladders to install. We want to make sure we do that. We don't want to forget that. We do not want to forget that. There's a door. And we've got this guy right here. All right, let's go back out there and get that snapped together real nice. Oh, my food is getting really low, but I... Th well, maybe, I'll, maybe I will lose the vitamin buff here soon. Yeah, that's interesting. That looks very different to me. Tell me if that does not look different to you guys. Here we go. What? I can't do anything with the door on here? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Really? Why all of a sudden? Oh, wait a minute. I was walking through there before. Oh, I don't want to have to crouch to get down here. It looks like you got to hit it just right. Hmm. Well, that is not going to work for me if it's going to do that. I could make it just a square box, but I, I, I'd rather have the ramp. That way, if the elephant backs up or something, at least it's got something to go up on. What if I take this door frame out of here? No, all of a sudden now, I can't walk through here. Isn't that bizarre? Hmm. I'll have to fix that. What am I going to do now? The other option I thought about is putting a hatch there and... This is kind of a bummer for me here. Yeah, see, I can get down in here. It's just that. Okay, so do I have walls on me? I do not. Let's put this stuff in. We'll do this first. We'll get it fixed up. Not to worry. Not to worry. Let's put this right here. I want this close to the stairs when I come down so that I can dump things off quickly. Inventory. I brought, I brought a mortar pestle with as well. So we can make med kits on the ship. And then we did have some boxes too, right? Did I place the boxes or did I just not grab them? It doesn't look like I grabbed them by the, the workbench. All right, so... I think what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to do some half walls around that. And that's going to be it. <clears throat> Keep it simple. Lightweight. Let's gather resources so that when we land where we're going to be, we can just build. And where we do find where we're going to be, that's where we're going to park our good elephant. The other one, Buddy's going to stay here. He's going to stay on this island. We're going to take the good one with us. And then we're going to go off hunting for the rest of the animals we need to, uh, you know, complete 
basically the set. Just like that, that'll work just fine for me, right there, boom. Yeah, that should work just fine. We got the diving platform, so we can do that. The other thing I want to put on this ship, and it's going to go on the other side, and hopefully we can still get uh, the animals on and off uh, easy enough. S so far, it's been okay in the seasons past, um, is a cargo container so that we can uh, come and drag all this stuff with us and take it with us. We've got like a huge storm coming in or something. Look at the, look at the weather change. That's so cool. I don't know how they do that. That's so cool. Uh, so I think it's probably pretty good to go. I mean, I got the storage chest I have to put on here. We'll put a couple behind us, you know. You know what I've not put any points in is armor. That's what I need to do. Uh, hold on a second. Let's take a look. Yeah, I, I need to get the uh, armor opened up. Uh, I need to spend the next couple of points doing that so we have armor. Uh, let's see skills. Where are we at with that? Oh, what do I need to open up for this? Hmm. Well, it's not survival. It's not going to be that either, I don't think. Well, tannery? Repair? No. Lux melee weaponry. I've not done anything really in in this in this category at all. Yeah, we need to get to this right here. Journeyman armors, full fur and leather armors, okay. Yeah, this is where I need to get to next. How do I get to this point? Requires one's basics of armor, gives access to crafting fur and leather armors. Basics of armor. Okay, so where do I find this so I can get this open? Ballista, steady aim. No. It's not going to be any of those things. I'll have to find that. You guys probably tell me as well. Let me know where it is. I'm, I'm just not seeing it. I, I feel like I should have already had it opened by now but maybe not so yeah that's definitely something i need to get going i'll look into it some more too i believe we have a couple of crates in here that i need to place did i not make the crates i must have taken the stuff out before it had completely finished crafting either one of them is that it hmm wouldn't doubt it not for a second one of those. And I wanted two of these, right? Now they're going to turn up somewhere. Alright, we're done with the wall. And we still need to put the ladders up. And I don't think we need the door. That's unfortunate. And I made the wrong sales, but sometimes that just happens. Oh, I've got too much stuff on me. Let's drop that. That and that and that. That, that and that. There we go. Okay, I've got the boxes. Uh, you know what we're going to need. It's raining again. Uh, it is a bed. Bed. What do we need? Fibers. Hide thatch and wood. Hide thatch and wood. Thatch. And let's get a decent bunch of hide. Let's make, uh, let's actually make three of those. That works out perfect for me. When we got our crew members, at least two of them will have a bed, which should reduce our cost for having them on the ship. It should reduce how much we have to pay them. Holy cow. Inventory, this is why I have a torch. Let's uh, open up our barrel. There we go. 
yeah, we're almost full on water there. I should make another barrel and get it set up, but there's a bug right now with the barrels. I don't know if they fixed or not yet, but as soon as you set a barrel down, you get 3,000 water in it, so it's kind of weird. Okay, I like to have a chest right here so that I've got some place to put things. Clothing, things of that nature, like so. Uh, I probably will have to do a campfire unless I'm sailing just during the day. Oh, and by the way, when we do set sail, it will be right after one of these rainstorms because it does rain so often here that I'm afraid I'm going to get caught outside. Uh, number one. No, number four. Let's go like so. There we go. I can get through here all right. Beautiful. Very good. And then we'll just continue to add stuff that we need in here, like the beds. Okay, so we need some beds. There's too many structures in the platform, huh? What? There's too many things, too many structures on the platform. Well, that's interesting. I've never seen it do that before. What does it say on here? Nine thousand schooner weight thirteen fifty of uh, the nine thousand available to me. Hmm. I don't quite understand that. It says structures in the ship. I really this is pretty bare bones. I, th there's plenty of room for more on here. Nevertheless, what I'll do is I'll put a bed. Uh, right up here. I guess I'll stick them up here like I was going to start to do. And we'll figure out what's going on. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about that. We will throw the extras in here. Let's do that. And... Put you guys back here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to those in here as well. We'll put those in there just so we have something for repairs if need be or we get other ideas. Um, and then I do need to learn the armor. Not that we're going to need any warm armor or armor to keep us warm at the moment. Uh, we're going to be kind of in this zone. So I think we're okay. We have not been getting cold. It's the uh, the heat that, that bothers us the most. Um... I think that's all I could put on the ship at the moment, it looks like. That's just really strange to me. It's probably not, right? It's probably very normal what has happened. And we'll throw that extra sail. Uh, no, we'll leave that sail here. We're going to take all this stuff with us, though. Um, I do want to, next episode, leave here and um, go check out a neighboring island for sure. Uh, I can, yeah, let's put the planks up here. That way they're really handy. And then I need to make a repair hammer as well. We're going to put these guys right in here. A few extra little things. And we'll throw you in there as well. That is, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm confused by this. Why, why I can't put anything else down. Did they change what you could put on the ships? Doesn't seem like that that would be a, a thing right there. Not with what we have on it. Um, let's see. H-A-M. We need one of these repair hammers. That's fiber, thatch, and wood. Huh. Well, what do you know about that? We just happen to have some. Let's make two of those. Oh, there we go. We've got one on the other boat. Let's take two onto this one. And then I'm going to have to stock the ship with wood, thatch, and fiber. Uh, probably a stack of each in the uh, chest. Along with some iron. So these guys we want here too. So if we have to jump off 
the helm, we can just grab them right here and then get busy working. Uh, I think that's all I got time for, guys. That is it. I think my voice is starting to go away. So hopefully by next week, I'll take the weekend off and just kind of relax. And hopefully it'll be all back to normal. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit... Oop, I got those ladders. I won't forget to do it. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.